customer. Sometimes they just walk with you and you've been guarded. Well, I want them to walk with yeah. me because I want to have a discussion. I want to be transparent. I want the, I want them to understand that the condition of their vehicle matters because what they did is they went on KBB, clicked six different things: year, make, model, trim level, color, excellent. Um, and, I, and excellent. Yeah, thank you. Okay, I want them to understand that these little things make a great big difference. All right. Um, any questions about anything? Yeah, like, does it make Res For appraising the car, we have another choice too, if I'm not mistaken. So we can just get the information for the car first, but before just pushing all the steps to make sure all the, what is it that make and model for the car, after getting the picture, we can just come back to the customer and show that to the customer. So what was this, this damage? What was that? You, oh, you, okay, you you could and show them a piece of paper yeah, that's got every. No, 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 not not this piece of paper. What so is on it? your app? Before you push it through, you have a chance you to just pictures. talk to the customer. Say that, sir, I got this picture, it was shot on the corner, so you had some damage on that. What's happened for that? Then go for the rims, then go for He's the correct. keys. Then okay, after, that, okay. after everything, then push it that, say that, let me see what can I do for you. So that means they remind yeah. them, so you have some damage on your car, but I'm doing hard to make it a better number for you. Okay, uh, and, and, I and that makes perfectly good sense as long as you're offering some remedies, okay? Because I'm trying to set up F and I at the same time. How many one touch salespeople do I have in here? Okay, well, look, one touch salespeople, if you're paying attention to what I'm saying, you're going to drive up your back end profit magnificently. Um, Frank, ask me if I've got a service contract on my car. By the way, did you uh, get a service contract when you bought your Frank, I don't buy those things. Probably would okay, that's one way of handling it. Or let's turn it around. Frank, do you have a service contract on that vehicle? No, I don't think so. Uh, you don't buy that stuff? Not really. Okay, Frank, the reason I ask is had you had a service contract, two things happen right now, both good for you. All right, number one, when they take a deep dive into the mechanical condition of this vehicle later, um, if they find an issue, chances are the service contract would handle that issue at no cost to you creating more value in your vehicle and if your vehicle is perfect like we hope it is you'd be due a refund based on the laws in california for any unused term or miles something you may want to consider with your next vehicle okay so i'm just setting up that sale and if i'm a one-touch salesperson i'm going to do that 100 percent of the time um, as a one-touch salesperson, do you get paid when you when they buy service contracts, select packages, gap, Even things like that? Salesperson, you yeah, get paid they all get. So, all, so everybody gets paid on that yeah, stuff. You pay everybody. So, does it make sense to set up the F and I office or set yourselves up as the case may Absolutely. be? Absolutely. Okay, you people now know.